Evolution of King Kong One of the most well-known monsters in all of cinema, a 50-foot Kong as a gigantic prehistoric ape, makes his first debut in the American 1933 black-and-white movie bearing his name. The movie tells how he is captured from a remote lost island known as Skull Island, where he spent his life battling dinosaurs, surviving in the wild, and being worshipped as a god by the natives who offered him sacrifices. And how he was so taken enthralled by one girl, named Anne Darrow, that he became attached to her and tried to protect her from various dangers. The next movie, The Son of Kong, was produced and released in 1933, immediately following the success of the first movie. Here appears Little Kong, Kong's son, who's 12 feet tall, has white fur, a much happier face, and his dad's awesome strength. At the end of the movie, he even sacrifices himself in flooding water in order to save the life of Carl Denham, the shady movie producer from the first movie. In the 1962 Japanese movie King Kong vs. Godzilla, the plot revolves around a 145-foot Kong, whom a pharmaceutical company captures for promotional purposes, and Godzilla who is reawakened by an American submarine, and eventually, they will have to fight on Mount Fuji. Unlike the 1933 movie, Kong comes from an island called Faroe Island. In the movie, the mighty Kong cannot be harmed by electrical currents and instead feeds on their power in order to revitalize or awaken himself from a state of unconsciousness. He can also use those same electrical currents, whether they are man-made or natural, to allow himself to release surges of electricity from his hands, a powerful tool against Godzilla. Also, Kong appears to be particularly resistant to Godzilla's atomic breath and he usually suffers little more than having some of his fur singed. In the series The King Kong Show, Kong was discovered on Mondo Island by Bobby Bond, whom he saved from being eaten by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Subsequently, he befriends the Bond family and goes with them on various adventures, saving the world from monsters, robots, aliens, mad scientists, and other threats. In the 1967 Japanese-American movie, King Kong escapes. Kong appears as a legendary giant ape, 60 feet tall, that resides on Mondo Island. In the movie, he battles an evil robot duplicate of himself named McKinney Kong. Also, Kong became infatuated with one of the members of the expedition, Susan Watson, saving her more than once throughout the movie. In the 1968 animated movie Yellow Submarine, there is a scene where King Kong abducts a woman from her bed. In the 1976 American movie King Kong, which is a modernized remake of the 1933 movie, Kong is also captured and taken to New York City for exhibition. In this movie, he is bigger than the original, and instead of black fur, he has brown fur and walks like a man. He also demonstrates durability when he continues fighting against helicopters and even destroys some of them after being riddled with bullets. Also, before Kong is captured, he meets a girl named Duana, whose rambling monologue calms and fascinates the monstrous beast. After she falls in the mud, he even takes her to a waterfall to wash herself and then uses great gusts of his warm breath to dry her. Subsequently, he falls in love with her and decides to make sure nothing happens to her. In The Simpsons episode Treehouse of Horror 3, there is a segment called King Homer, which parodies the plot of the original movie with Homer as King Kong and Marge in the Anne Darrow role. It ends with King Homer marrying Marge and eating her father. In the 1986 American monster movie King Kong Lives, which is the sequel to the 1976 movie, after being shot down from the World Trade Center, Kong is revealed to have been revived from his death and has been kept in a coma for about 10 years at the Atlantic Institute. However, his heart is failing, so it's replaced with a computer-monitored artificial heart. All is well until he senses that there's a giant female gorilla, who is dubbed Lady Kong somewhere out there, and escapes along with the female, wreaking havoc. In the end of the movie, Lady Kong gives birth to a healthy baby boy, whom King Kong was able to see and touch before his death. This was the final Kong movie in which the eponymous character was portrayed using suits and practical effects. In the 1998 American animated movie The Mighty Kong, which is an adaptation of the classic King Kong story, it features some elements from the 1976 remake as well.
For example, the waterfall shower scene. Instead of being shot down by planes, Kong gets tangled up in a net suspended by two blimps. When he falls from the net, he survives the fall from the Empire State Building to provide a more lighthearted ending than previous adaptations. In Kong, the animated series Kong is one of the main protagonists, who is a genetically engineered clone of the original King Kong, created by a scientist named Lorna Jenkins by using the DNA of the deceased original Kong and her grandson. Because of that, he has a younger brother relationship with Jason, as signified by Jason calling Kong bro. He is known as a charming and benevolent creature who uses his strength and the primal stones to protect the world from the demon Kairos. Through the use of the cyberlink, Jason can fuse with Kong, and when he gets angry, he can grow to twice his size. Both have strong wills, so Kong can only stay within Jason, or vice versa, for a short period of time before causing each other harm. He has heightened instincts and is able to tell if something is wrong, or if someone is not who they say they are. Because Kong cannot speak, the others assume he is overreacting. Also, he stands upright like humans, although he sometimes knuckle walks on all fours like a regular gorilla and has a mouth full of sharp teeth. In the 2005 epic adventure movie King Kong, which is the second remake of the 1933 movie, King Kong is a 25-foot-tall bulky primate who closely resembles a realistic adult male silverback gorilla with a muscular body. This version reveals the incarnation of Kong as the last surviving member of a species called Mega Primatus Kong, and that his kind is likely descended from Gigantopithecus, the largest known primate. Unlike his previous incarnations, he only walks on fours like a real-life gorilla. Kong's entire body is covered in scars in order to give him the appearance of being both old and battle-hardened. They call gorillas, this version of King Kong is herbivorous, as he was shown to be eating bamboo. Also, he demonstrated the ability to understand and use sign language with Anne when he made the sign for beautiful that she had explained to him earlier in his lair. In Robot Chicken, Kong first appears on a tower in the episode Nutcracker Sweet. In another episode, Squawberry Shortcake, he briefly appears near Godzilla. In the animated TV show Kong, King of the Apes, set in 2050, Kong is voiced by Lee Talker. As a baby, he was captured by poachers, but broke free and wound up befriending Lucas when he was young. Sometime later, when he was bigger, Kong saved Lucas's brother, Richard, from a fire. But Richard was not grateful and even tried to blame Kong for the fire. Kong is somewhat childlike, having the mentality of a three-year-old, but has a strong bond with Liu Kays and the rest of the team. He became a fugitive of the law after being framed by Richard, and he worked with Lucas to fight against Richard's evil plans. In the 2017 movie, Kong Skull Island, set in 1973, a team of scientists and Vietnam War soldiers travel to the uncharted Skull Island and meet Kong, a 104-foot gigantic ape who is the last of the Titanus Kong species after he had witnessed the brutal death of his parents at the hands of the Skull Crawlers shortly after his birth leading him to become the self-appointed guardian of Skull Island. While Kong appears to be highly territorial in the movie, he does demonstrate some degree of altruism, such as rescuing a trapped skier buffalo and saving Mason Weaver from drowning. Kong is not normally aggressive towards humans and only attacks them when provoked. Kong demonstrates an interest in Mason Weaver, as he at one point allows her to touch his face. Also, Kong has a muscular physique with defined abs and large biceps, and he also possesses a crushing force of up to 150 tons. For example, Kong was able to lift and carry extremely heavy objects, such as helicopters or a large tree, that flew through the air with such accuracy as to skewer a chopper. Kong reappears in the film's 2021 sequel, Godzilla vs. Kong, in which he initially enters into conflict with Godzilla but eventually takes his side to destroy the Apex Cybernetics, constructed anti-Titan weapon Mechagodzilla. Kong's height had more than tripled to 337 feet by the time of this movie. Sections of Kong's fur are now a darker shade of brown, along with a few gray hairs. He has also grown beard-like facial hair. Following his fight against Godzilla in Hong Kong, the King of Monsters ferociously slashed at Kong's chest four times, 
leaving diagonal grid lines of scars located on the right pectoral area in addition to his original three scars. The animated TV show Skull Island takes place in the early 1990s during Kong's life on Skull Island, where he has a long-running standoff with the Kraken due to his unwillingness to engage it in the water, where it would have the upper hand, even when it taunts him by throwing a whale into his temple. Annie, Charlie, and Dog force the two titans together by stealing a necklace precious to Kong and leading him to the shore. At the conclusion of the battle, he throws the Kraken onto land, where he is able to take advantage of the terrain and kill it. Also, Kong performs incredible feats of speed and agility when traversing Skull Island, covering distances within moments via leaping or running on all fours. In the TV series, Monarch Legacy of Monsters, Kong appears as the cameo character in the episode Beyond Logic. In the 2024 monster movie, Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, when an unprecedented massive enemy is discovered that threatens the entire planet, Kong joins forces with Godzilla once again in order to defeat it. While maintaining the same overall design from Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong's beard has grown slightly longer and grayer, and he retains the scars gained from Godzilla's mauling in Hong Kong.